few moments from right now, we're going to hear a weird story about FM radio transmissions coming from Jupiter. But last mm -hmm. week, I heard Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell loudly and clearly say exactly what happened this this past weekend with the snow. Mm -hmm. Not everyone so clear or bold. Marcus, yeah. a big salute. Hey. You nailed it. Well, thank you. That's that's kind of you. We still had some areas though that picked up a lot more snow than what I had thought that we would see. But you know what? It's been a fun sight. It's definitely been fun. Now we're going to continue with that melting process. The bad result of that tonight is a big concern for some major travel impacts for us here in East Texas into tomorrow morning, something that we have not seen in quite a while for us. And we're talking about freezing fog, which essentially means acting as a sheet of ice that could form on elevated surfaces and not just those actually all surfaces. That's where the problem will lie. Temperatures are at the freezing mark and the key for us overnight tonight. It will definitely be colder tomorrow morning than where we were this morning. So that's going to allow anything that's on the roadway to freeze. And of course, that means the moisture that we have outside too from the snow is going to be a concern as well. Road temperatures. Yeah, they're going to have a bit of an impact as well. Notice deep East Texas where you didn't get a lot of sun this afternoon, where still probably some water is more prevalent in our southern area. Areas. We're already starting to see those road temperatures closer to the freezing mark, and they continue to drop also across the central and northern areas. Humidity is quite high in the wake of the snow that we had come through. Some of you picking up more than four to six inches of it, and now that's resulting in this fog. But it's not just regular fog. We're talking about freezing fog. That is our big concern, and we do have a freezing fog advisory running until about 9 a.m. These are the counties posted for now. It wouldn't surprise me though in the overnight to have more counties added to this hazardous driving is going to be likely, but what you can expect is a very fine thin layer of ice on all surfaces and it's very fine, but still very significant because that will make driving conditions tricky to even difficult at times as we progress through the rest of tonight. Look what Futurecast does with the visibility. It will continue to drop it. We're already down in the five to almost zero miles of visibility, and that trend is expected to continue as we head into tomorrow. Now the actual air temperatures very cold, bone chilling cold for sure low to mid 20s over portions of deep East Texas and near the Texas and Louisiana border. The rest of our area between about 26 and 29. Either way, it is just going to be a very cold start tomorrow morning. We'll get some sunshine here tomorrow afternoon and a little bit warmer, so that melting process will occur once again. But we have another freeze on Wednesday morning, just not as cold as what we have tomorrow. More sunshine, warmer temperatures Wednesday into Thursday, but a cold front Thursday night drops temperatures back to the 50s in deep East Texas. Also looking at a similar weather story. Our next rain chance coming in by Sunday. All right, Marcus, thank you. All right.